Hi everyone, welcome to this lecture. This lecture talks about TRIM and GPM, two satellite instruments that measure rainfall. The first one, TRIM, has stopped operation, and the second one, GPM, has been recently launched and replaces uh, TRIM. So, TRIM, what is TRIM? So, TRIM is a Tropical Rainfall Measuring Mission, an acronym. Uh, which is a joint mission by NASA and the JAXA, the Japanese version of NASA, uh, since 1997. Um, it, you know, they provide, um, you know, data for on a daily temporal resolution, that means three hourly. Um, it also covers, um, it, it has a global coverage, uh, that means it extends from 50 degree north, uh, south to 50 degree north latitude. And it has a special resolution of 25 kilometer. Um, so that means a single pixel, trim pixel, is 25 kilometer by 25 kilometer, okay? And it has uh, three instruments. Um, the first one is uh, t trim microwave uh, imager, TMI, and the second one is precipitation radar, PR, and the third one is um, VIRS, visible and infrared uh, scanner. Um, so overall, that's, um, you know, some background information about the TRIM uh, mission. So this is a TRIM data, a global data by NASA, uh, which uh, shows uh, global coverage, but also temporally um, monthly data, you know, from 1999. Um, so you can see how, um, you know, it's very helpful to use satellite data to monitor uh, precipitation or climate, um, there are, for example, places that we cannot access, or there are places that we don't have uh, meteorological, you know, ground stations. So by using um, satellite data, we can get a global wall-to-wall -wall coverage and also, um, you know, decades of time series. That's uh, that's an amazing, um, you know, data source. The second is GPM. So GPM is uh, a global precipitation, uh, you know, mission to uh, measure rainfall. So the GPM Core Observatory is a consortium of, uh, you know, partners in the United States, Japan, France, India, and Europe. So the GPM observer observes precipitation over the entire, you know, planet every two to three hours. Uh, it has the same special resolution, uh, 25 kilometer. Um, and then the core satellite will measure rain and snow. Uh, and then there are two instruments, the GMI and the DPR. The GMI is the GPM microwave imager, and the DPR is the dual frequency precipitation radar. Um, and the GPM covers uh, more uh, areas, which means by extending trim uh, to 65 north and south, um, you know, um, and that's, that's an extended um, coverage, especially in the temperate areas. And GPM, you know, has some advantage um, compared to TRIM uh, because GPM, um, I think GPM is, you know, designed to measure um, light rain and falling snow. Uh, so it, it's a significant um, water resource, um, you know, uh, measurement, especially inflow. Um, especially in, in the in the high latitudes, right? So the GPM instrument extends the capability of the trim sensor to detect, you know, falling slow, and it also measures light rain, um, actual rain, okay? 